What's going on guys? It's your boy Ben. Welcome back to my channel, BH Aquatics. If you guys are new here, make sure you slam that subscribe button, like this video if you want to see more like it, and without further ado, let's get into feeding the arowana. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I uh, have an assortment of foods here. I have four different foods that I'm going to be feeding the arowana today. Um, for those of you that don't know, or for those of you who do know, and just haven't had an arowana for a long time, um, or you have just simply not experienced the feeding of a true arowana, I don't really know how to put that, but they eat a ton. And if you really wanted to, they go through these growth spurts every couple of weeks, and when they go through these growth spurts, if you wanted to, you could basically feed them basically whatever you want for like... 10 minutes and it would just eat through all of it until it felt that its hunger was suffice um, which even that sometimes doesn't happen sometimes you can overfeed them and it can kill the fish um, I personally have not done that before because this is my first arowana so we're today we're going to be feeding my arowana some super worms um, some of these omega-1 frozen Daphnia um, cubes which you just pop out a cube and apparently uh, the arowanas they really enjoy that they'll uh, they'll just eat the cube in and of itself he is a pretty big fish as you can see my arowana he's just swam away but he, he's about nine inches right now so he's actually grown about an inch since I got him um, He's big enough to eat these cubes. We also have the blood worms, the same cubes as the Daphnia. And last but not least, we have adult large crickets. Um, and these are live, super worms are live. They are absolutely wonderful. Um, obviously I feel bad putting some live creatures in for the arowana, but watching him go after them, there's the tricolored shark, is just a wicked cool thing to watch. Um, He's just a pretty neat fish. As you can see, he's actually gotten quite large. So, um, yeah. How about I stop talking? We'll just get right into filming the feeding because this guy is awesome. Alrighty, so first up, as you can see, I got my super worms. Um, I actually haven't renewed the amount of super worms that I've had. I haven't bought any since I did buy all the other foods that I just showed you. Um, so I'm not sure how many of these I have left. I'll probably feed him about two. Um, and then we'll move on to the next food. Uh, as you guys can see, I have this big plywood cover over my tank, or the open space of the tank where the light doesn't cover, um, simply because these are big monster fish here, and if they're not full size already, when they do get to full size in this purposeful grow-out tank, um, they're gonna start to jump. So we, we got, gotta be ready at all times just so that we don't lose any of these monster fish that not only are big and will jump out of the tank, but they're also highly expensive fish as well. We just simply don't want to lose them. Um, so yeah, this guy, he should come right up to the top. We just dropped one in. Sometimes it takes him a moment to come in and see it, but uh, once he gets his eye on it, come on, dude. Sometimes you gotta throw another one in just so he sees it. He'll see it sinking down. There you go. I don't know if you caught that on camera. It was kinda low. Um, but he got one of the two that I threw in there. Now there's just a second one floating around on top. Here he comes. Look at how fast he is. His reflexes are insane. I absolutely love this. Let's move on to the next food. Alrighty, so we're right now going to feed him the uh, one of the bloodworm squares. Um, again, I, I'm i pretty sure I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but if I didn't, this is the first time I've ever actually fed him any of these like frozen food cubes. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if he actually eats it. Maybe the other fish will go after it. I'm not really sure, so let's try it out. Put it in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. Um, he definitely sees it, but since all the blood worms are just kind of defrosting after it, I'm not really sure what's going to occur. It's going up to it. 
Pretty sure he got a good look at it, but uh mm. It's going up. No. That was that was very anticlimactic, guys. He just kinda went up and grabbed it and now he's spitting it out. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright guys, so now we got the Daphnia. Um I mean since we had kind of an anticlimactic effect of the bloodworm cube, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get much out of the Daphnia, especially since this one's more uh common commonly used in the live bearer kind of uh like breeding range, um rather than just for a singular um arowana, but we'll toss it in anyways just to see. Um I don't really even know. I mean, to be completely honest with you guys, I just put it in, and the cube just disintegrated. Or no, it's it's up in the back corner. You just got, you guys probably just can't see it because the, the plant's blocking it. The arowana, I don't know if you saw him. He did go up to check it out, see what it was. Um, and he didn't bite it, so yeah, I guess we'll get to something more awesome, guys. Last but not least, guys, we're doing the cricket feeding. Here he comes. He sees him. All right, all right. That was that was really anticlimactic. Sometimes you really get. Sometimes when he'll see it, he'll just like kind of like come up to the top, and he'll just snatch it like he did with the mealworms in the beginning. But evidently, he's not in the mood to do that today. Because he just kind of came up and grabbed the second one. Okay, guys, so just to end this on a good note, it's kind of been like a... This is not as fun as I thought it would be. Um, just because the arowana tends to go crazy for this kind of stuff. Um, you know... You ever have those days where you just are like... You know, let's do something awesome with my pets. Or, in your case, let's do something... Yeah, it's still that way. Let's do something awesome with my pets. And, uh, you just kind of plan all this stuff. And it never goes the way you want it to. Anywho, guys, I hope maybe, even though that the arowana wasn't going crazy for the food like he normally does, I hope you guys could pull something away from this video. Um, different foods that you can feed your arowana if you haven't already tried them. Um, different factual information. I know this is terrible glare here. But, uh... As long as you guys pull at least something away from this video, that's all that matters to me. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you potentially want to see one in the future. I'm not sure if we'll do one in the future, just because this guy evidently sometimes is just not in the mood to go crazy for food. Um, anywho, um, as I was saying, like I said in the beginning, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have not already done so, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next Sunday.